governed by one eternal law. All that begins must end. The reign of the old Shogunate is over. Hello, one and all. It is Jacob Kane here. I hope you enjoyed that little cutscene. I think it's really cool. I don't understand why the, uh, why it goes from winter to spring back to winter. Maybe it's some kind of cultural thing, but... Anyway, um, this is a little intro video to Shogun 2, and, uh... This game is really... <laughs> it, it's addicting. It's fun. Um, I'm just gonna... I'm going to start a new campaign very, very quickly. I just want to get into some stuff. Um, and what I want to do. Like, I don't know if I want to turn this into a series. But, uh, I might. I don't know. I, I, I want to make some videos on this game because it's really interesting. So, these three factions right here are, um, the easy factions. So, this is the faction you start with, uh, Chosokabe. That's the faction you start with when you do the tutorial. So, I already have a save on that. This is a save that I've been, um, the Shimatsu. That's, that's the... I've been doing that on my own time. So, I might do the Hojo. Um, it owns two provinces. So, like, that right there, I guess. And this is where the Shogun is, right here. So pretty much every single faction, if you look there in that center, every single faction has to take over that because all, all of these daimyos, I probably didn't pronounce that very correct, correctly, they all want that spot. They all want to become Shogun. So anyway, I might do one with the Hojo. I am <laughs> I'm pretty bad at this game. I'm playing on normal. I'm playing with a few mods. Uh, I'm playing with... A mod called Darth Mod. It's supposed to like improve the AI, like significantly, and make it stop doing like stupid stuff. Um, 
It's supposed to improve the visuals a little bit and the animations. By the way, the animations in this game, oh my god, they're glo <laughs> they're awesome. I, I don't know if we'll be able to look at them much uh, in this in this video because I'm gonna be playing. But when when I do battles, uh, if I do a series on this, when I do battles, there's a replay option. I'm thinking about doing that, so we'll be able to get like. I'll be able to form actual commentary or I don't know what I'm going to do, but I just wanted to show this game off real quick and see what you guys think about it. Um, we're not going to fight any battles in the campaign. I just want to start it. So, uh, don't want to turn battle realism on. If I do that, if this is checked, players will have more restricted UI in battles. There will be no radar, reduced information on enemy, ba enemy banners and tooltips, and the camera will be restricted to units line of sight. So that means if I have a unit over here, and there's like a ginormous wall right here, I won't be able to see the unit, the enemy unit over here. Like even if I go over that wall. So anyway, let's just more options. None of this help, uh, matters. I'm gonna just set it to none. I'm gonna set all that stuff to none because I just I want to talk about it myself. So uh, let's just start. We'll start with the Hojo really quickly. We're not going to get very far into the. I'm, I'm assuming this will be a pretty short video. And once I get done with this, then we'll take a look at the battles. There's a nice little cutscene, too. I'll let you watch it. 1545. This is Sengoku the age of the country at war. years, the Ashikaga shoguns have ruled from Kyoto. Great splendor and power were theirs. Now the overmighty clans no longer obey. The time has come for a new warlord to become shogun. But who will be victorious? Hojo lands have always provided for our people. Our enemies are many and envious. They threaten our borders and look for any weakness. Our castles are strong. The envy of Japan. We are rightly admired as master builders. Strong walls, strong souls. Our siege engines are equally mighty. Nothing stands before them. Shamonten, the war goat, has woken. Now is the time to defeat our enemies. All will bow to the Hojo clan. We wait no longer. Destiny calls! We are the Hojo. For many years, we have vied for control of Kanto, bringing us into conflict with a number of rival clans. Having captured territory from the Magawa, we have brokered an uneasy truce in order to service our more pressing concerns. The Ogigayats and the Amanoj clans have united for fear of our mighty ambition. Musashi is therefore a priority. Capture of this province will rid us of the Ogigayat and gain us a foothold at the heart of Kanto. While we may have eased the tensions with the Magawa, it will only be a matter of time before their lethal ambition threatens our plans once again. Capture of Suruga will weaken their potential greatly, but we must be wary of the Takeda. Bound by blood and honor, the Takeda will not look kindly on any act of aggression against their allies. 
and they are of formidable force. Seizure of Kai, their home province, could provide an answer, but facing the combined might of two great clans may best be left until our own has grown in stature. However, with power and influence will surely come the eye of Kyoto, and should the Shogun feel threatened, he will rally his subjects against us. In that event, we must be prepared to fend off all who would attack us, no matter from where that threat emerges. If the Shogun wishes to halt our expansion, let him come here and reckon with us himself. All right. So uh, that cutscene before this uh, little overview of the map that changes uh, most of the time. You know, depending on what um, what clan you are. Uh, the Hojo, the Hojo clan, they're apparently very very good builders. And their siege weapons are uh, really good, so they're good at building and demolishing, I guess. So that goes hand in hand. Um, so the good thing about this game, they give you like missions, so you like have kind of a guidance where to go, but it's not like you have to do them. Um, the Ogigayatsu, that's uh, over here, I believe. Let's go ahead. If our daimyo is to become shogun, military ruler of all Japan. We must defeat the current shogunate, the Ashikaga clan. Capturing and holding the capital of Kyoto for four seasons. At this point, the emperor will declare our clan leader shogun. We can make a bid for the shogunate at any time, although the current incumbent may preemptively attack us if we become too powerful. War with the Shogun for either reason may result in other clans declaring war on our own in support of the status quo. So basically what that means is that, uh, let's see, where is Kyoto? It's over here. Oh. Uh, yeah, Kyoto is right here. So this is where the Shogun is. This is where the Shogun lives. Um... We attack this province if we want to become the Shogun. But, uh... Attack. I don't know. I, I got confused there for a second. Um, but yeah, that's the, that's the main objective for the campaign, I guess. But I think the campaign can go as long as you want it until, like, they completely demolish you. So, the good thing is, I could go to Kyoto right now with the army I have, and I could try and stand against, stand a chance against them. I probably wouldn't, but if I wanted to do that, I could. So, the what the advisor was warning me, we can make a bid for the Shogun at, at any time, although the current incumbent may preemptively attack us. That means, if I come for the Shogun, all these other other provinces all across Japan you see this entire Japan this whole continent or not continent country it'll come for me if I try and go for Kyoto and it'll come for me anyway if I get too powerful and start taking over all of Japan before I go reach Kyoto so basically I'm screwed either way so I like I need to act fast so let's look at our army real quick we probably we don't even have oh there's our army <laughs> so we got some Bo Ashigaru. Yari, Yai Ashigaru. Got two two units of that. And some Yari Samurai. And then there's our general. Uh, so the good thing is we have our Daemo. I, <laughs> I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of that. Uh, this is the guy that wants to become the Shogunate. Or the Shogun. And we have a general, which is... Kasahara Ujita. <laughs> um, but anyway, we're gonna send him over here. Yeah, we're gonna garrison our forces there, so uh, we'll have public happiness. Um. Oh, Ogi Gaetsu is in our land. What are they doing? Is that the? Yeah, this. Okay, this is the province they have. Uh, that's their. That's their town. Mu, Mu, yeah, no, this is their province. I don't know what their town is called. 
I guess I, I haven't explored it yet, but, um, anyway, this, it's really, uh, this game is really, you have to think about what you want to do, so let's look in our finance real quick, so, okay, people are angry that our taxing, that our taxes are normal, so let's ease you real quick, oh, th th okay, this is our lowest, see, this is our lowest, uh, public happiness, because of the taxes. If we just lowered that... You, this is the first time I've been in control of two provinces. <laughs> I've only played the Chosokabe and the Shimatsu. So I don't know if there's a way... Uh... Let me put that at minimal just to see what that does. And then can I change this one? No. So it looks like it looks like taxes are province. The provinces each have their own taxes. Or they have they have the same taxes is what I'm trying to say. So if there is a way to change that, I don't know. Um So each province it has its own uh little things that um make it special so most most coastlines like this will always have a port this is just a port like i don't have anything at it right now i can make a i could actually make it a harbor so i can go ahead and put ships there like that uh i can't i can't mouse over it but over there to the left it says uh enables recruitment and replenishment of medium bune and little kabuya kuba <laughs> Koba, <laughs> yeah. I can't. <laughs> um, so if I make that harbor, I can make those. With, oh, I can't do it. Which would make um. Would would start my navy, and then I could make this into a trade port, so I can make a trade ship, and I could go. Well, dang! All the trade ports are way up here. See, there's a trade port. See, this is what was easier about, um, this is where the Shimatsu are, uh, they're in the Satsuma province, so their port's like right here, there's a trading post here, another one here, a third here, a fourth a little bit up north, and then if I want to, if eventually when I try to make my way to Kyoto, there's one right here too. So, anyway, um, they, those trading is like a European trading, I think, so they'll like give you guns and stuff, but if you, if you obtain guns and muskets and stuff, you have to change your, uh, religion to Christianity, and a lot of people in Japan do not like Christianity, you know, in this time period, which is, it's 1545, as you can see it on here, so, uh, did I go over the mods I was using? <laughs> the mods I'm using are Darth Mod, which is um, supposed to, you know... I already talked about that one, I think. I'm using that. I'm using three Radius mods uh, for each of the eras. The Rise of the Samurai, Fall of the Samurai, and the Japan at War period that I'm at right now. I don't I don't remember the name of it. Um, that's supposed to change up the units a little bit, add more units, and um, balance some of the stuff in the campaign, I think. I can't remember the top of my head. I'm also using... So if I go ahead and end turn... What the... Let us speak. Like sensible men of many things, and so reach some accord here today. A military al third oh. huh you want to make an alliance with me I don't even know who you are trade oh I'm apparently trading with you oh yeah oh yeah I'm who's you okay so we're trading and you want to be allies We have the same... Sure, sure. Single payment of 14... Uh, you want money for... Sure, I'm not gonna... 
Yeah. Most yeah. satisfactory end. Yeah, get away. Get it get out of my face. Okay. Um <laughs> So I just made an alliance. I don't even know who they are. Oh, where'd the Ogie got to clan go? Um Yeah, so I ha I got another mission. Um yeah, Master Strategy of Tech. Okay, so if you go into the Mastery of Arts, there's uh, all these... This is basically, if you've ever played a real-time strategy game or, you know, a uh, town-type game like this, you can research stuff. So this is basically the research. The good thing is it only takes turns. It doesn't take money. It doesn't take resources to learn different stuff to be able to, to, be able to make it. So, like, right now, I'm not able to build a market, but if I decide to uh, research that, then I will be able to make a market. And to make the market, I will have to uh, have resources and stuff to make that and money. But, um, is that what it wants me to... It said way of... Stre uh, it said way of the attack, didn't it? I have to look at that mission again real quick. Hold on. The missions will be... Like, there's a lot of stuff you can look up up here, too. So this right here, it talks about the provinces that you're under control with. So right now, I'm under control of Sagami and Itsu. And these are the provinces around those those provinces that I own. So, and it goes over... Um, well, I thought it was supposed to go over go over if they like you or not but I guess not but anyway you, you can look at a bunch of stuff over here here's a, here's your generals and daimyos and then oh here's here's your yeah who you're uh, friends with and who you're trading with and who you're enemies with and then here's the oh here we go so I think this is the mission yeah strategy of attack so that's what it, okay, it wants me to study the strategy. That would be that. So I would need to hit this. And in two turns, I would learn that. And then after that's up, in two more turns, if I wanted to learn that, I would. So, yeah, you can even set a, I didn't know you could set a waypoint. Can I? Oh, oh, you can, oh, hot dang. Oh, hot dang. Okay. Oh, hot dang. Okay. Let's just go back up there because that's all we need for right now. Um... So yeah, you can also, here's the diplomacy thing. That's where we just were when we made allies with uh, Takada. So we could go back over there and say, hey, want to enter negotiations? This Let's, is uh, a good day, a friendly visit, good conversation, and perhaps a profitable outcome for all. I find it funny. Their attitude is very friendly, but their temperament is ruthless. <laughs> they're friendly, but they're likely to stab me in the back. You see, this is this is. I'm scared of getting allies with people, especially with people like this. They're ruthless, so you don't know if they'll stab you in the back. So here in the diplomacy thing, I could go to other clans and ask them, "Hey, I want to, uh, I want to be your vassal," which it wouldn't make very sense since we're allies. So, I could ask them to join the war with me. The war against, uh, Ogigat <laughs> Ogigayatsu. That's a, that's a heck of a name. Um, I could break the alliance that we just made. <laughs> I could just give them payments just to be nice. Or I could, and I could ask them in exchange military access, which I wouldn't need that since I'm already their ally. So, but anyway. I don't know what happens... Can I make negotiations with the enemy? So then, what have you to say today? Will my ears be shamed by the hearing? Mm-hmm. Can I request peace? And... I will give you a payment of all of my money. Peace is not for the likes of you. Peace is for honorable, honest men. Bro, I am honest. Screw you, then. So, uh, that obviously didn't work. That's fine. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, it's, you can do that. Um, and here is where you look at the overview of your own clan. 
so uh, as you can see, most I I don't know of a clan that is not Buddhist at the very start. I think there are only two religions that Japan can convert to, and I think they only convert to Christianity specifically if you go to the West and trade and get some of their weapons and decide to use them in battle. And I think one of the trade agreements for those weapons is to become Christian. So I think that's the only time, and then that'll really uh, lower your public appeal for your provinces. Um, I think only certain provinces change religion. But I think if I become Christianity, if that goes to be Christian, then a lot of people would be mad about that. But I don't think it necessarily goes per, per province, per city. So that's okay. Um, my fame is obscure. There's little knowledge of your clan. The clan fame is gained by fighting battles and conquering provinces and is also influenced by other factors, such as your honor. As your clan's fame increases, others will start to notice you, and if the shogunate itself may come to view, your clan is a threat to its rule. So the more fame I get, the more land that I take over. So let's... If I take over all this land, which I don't, I've already forget which way I'm supposed to go. If I take over all that land, and then, you know, some over here, you know, like all of that up there, if I take the shogunate will be mad. It would be like, hey, and then my fame, let's go back to it. Uh, my fame, it'll probably rise. So I'm assuming this bar, yeah, that'll reach even further. So um, let's look in the family and council. So I have two twins, apparently. <laughs> I got two... T How old is this? Four? How old are you? Seven. So they're not quite the same age, but they look the exact same, so that's cool. And I got this middle dude over here. So my oldest son is default my heir. So if homie over here dies, he will become the next daimyo. If I die, like, right now, then the general will probably become the daimyo. But he will become the daimyo once he comes of age. And I can also make this dude an heir, this dude in there. I'll make, I'll make the youngest dude in there. Why not? And then um, there's a general down here. There's, um, you can have several generals. So, like, I could make any of these homies a general. And if I had a brother, I could make him a general, too. And they would be generals of different stuff. So I could make one for commissioner for supply, a finance commissioner, a development commissioner. Most of the time you want your main general to be commissioner for warfare. That'll make them um, very happy. But they don't mind at all being all these other commissioners either. So I think, I think that's pretty much the gist of that. that it got a little bit confusing when I uh, learned about that. So I don't know if that's exactly how it works out, but... So, here in the main city, you can recruit armies. See? We already have siege weapons. Uh, we have them ready to go. So, I went ahead and did that. I just I got those in queue, so it'll take two turns for me to get some siege weapons. So, maybe I could go fight uh, Ogigayatsu. I'm, I'm going to start saying Musashi. That's a lot easier to say. But, uh... What do they have over here? It looks like they have some rice patties or like a farm or something over here. So that'd be good. It doesn't look like I have any food. Oh yeah, I do. I rice pat. Okay. I have one. Oh, I have two. All right. Maybe there's a rice patty. Ooh, gold. Ooh. That's a. Ooh. <laughs> I could use that in the trade. Really good. But, um, anyway, I'm sure you guys are, uh, I've pretty much shown or talked about everything that I need to. Uh, we, we can do an example thing real quick. Let me just take what little army I have. So I could, um, let me click off that real quick. I could just click this, just to click the province or, you know, wherever my army is. I don't think I have an army here. No, I don't. I can recruit people here, though, but. I don't want to recruit. Who needs that? My my army's strong enough. I got four units. What more, what more do you need? So I could take this homie. And if I press control and then click, 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 I would take people where I want them to go. So, see, my general 
and the four units, they're over here. My Daimyo is still over here. If I wanted to make him join, then boom, bada bing. So now he's the highest rank officer. Let's say, oh, I want to take my bow, or oh, my bow and my uh, general. Let's put them back and let's garrison back into town. So now they're in town. And now my Daimyo and those three infantry units, they're out there. So let's go ahead and get both of them. Well, I don't, I don't even have to do that. I can just tell them to go. There you go. So I got nobody. Oh, I thought I told. Go over there. All right, let's let's go let's go fight. Let's just go do. Let's. I don't think I can get there. No, I can't. All right, so you only have a limited amount of distance you can move before the end of the turn. So right now he's waiting. Um, normally it would be until the end of the season. You have four turns in a year. So, which, that would mean, base game, you would have only 55 years, which would be 55 times 4, that's 200, 220 turns, to, you would have 220 turns to become Shogun, and capture all the provinces in your area, wherever the mission, uh, where are the missions? I forget. Are they just up here? Steadfast. What? Um. Yeah. Okay. I, so I just, for now, I just need to take care, or I need to take over the Sagami province. So it, it doesn't give you all the, uh, all of the things, all the missions yet. Where is the Sagami province? Are you, you're not the Sagami province. To I don't know where the I don't know where that there's Shimosa. I don't I don't know where that province is, but I'm supposed to take that over. Um let's just go ahead and end the turn. And yes, continue going. Fight! So, as you can see, I am going to get crushed. That's my force, and that's their force. This is their general. I'm assuming that's the Daimyo. Yeah, that, that's the Daimyo. So. I'll have to go against their cavalry, the Yashigaru, and Yari Yashigaru. Their bowmen, their samurai retainers. These are like the last uh, last line of defense type warriors. I won't even make it there. He he would have 2,700 men. I only have 800, so I could starve them out, but there's not really any point. It's not winter, so they have plenty of food. Let's just, let's get in the battle. I'll show you a little bit about the battle. Um, I am wholeheartedly expecting to lose, but it'll be all right. I'll, sh I'll show you a little bit of a gist. All right, so as the attacking force, I can choose different times of day. I could wait for certain weather. Um, and that would give me different effects. I prefer attacking. I would like to wait until it was night. But we'll just go ahead and start deployment now. This is the. That's the area I'm attacking. Ikusano ここ
皆に名門の証見せて死んぜよこの栄えある勝利は我らのさらなる勲章となる Remember that the goal here is to capture the castle, not to destroy it. We're gonna get destroyed, bro. It doesn't even matter. So, look at my puny little force here. Let's. Oh, well, we can't look at theirs, but I bet they're gonna have like a bunch of archers right here. And they're just. They're just gonna, they're just gonna be ready for us, but it's alright. <laughs> it's really not. Um. Alright, so. Basically, uh, we're gonna die. I'm gonna put my. So, okay, so this is the deployment phase. This is where you can, like, just put your troops wherever you want them to start. I'm gonna put my bowmen in front. And I have them march out first. I'm. I'm. In, <laughs> I'm playing this as if I'm gonna win this. I don't think I am at all, but. Um. Bro, get. There you go. There you go. I like that. Okay. Are these both. Ooh. Um, put these samurai back. Put these right here. There we go. Get them a nice line right there. Oh, yeah. I like that. Alright. Let's put our generals back and our daimyo. And have these march right behind the Ashigaru. Have that and that right boom bada bing look at that beautiful let's start the battle uh, let's have our archers move up and try and make them weak yep see look at that they have all their archers garrison Ooh, the frames <laughs> the frames they'll, they'll, they'll ruin you in little siege things look at their archers they look like nerds Bunch of nerds. Look at that. They're wearing socks and sandals. What a bunch of nerds. Alright, we need to... The probably need... Uh oh. Allows an Shut up. I don't care. Yeah. You... The balance of power. Yeah, it's telling me that I shouldn't have fought this battle, but you know what? I don't care. And let us move these forces up too. Let's move our generals up. Alright, are we in range yet? No, we are not. We are very close, though. Move up a little bit more. Alright, we should... I probably shouldn't take a frontal assault, to be honest. But since I'm just kind of showing the basics of battle, all right, can you, can you fire? Are you close enough to fire? Yeah, you are. And they're firing down on us too. All right, so we need to take these homies. We need to bring them around. So we'll take them that way. We shall have our generals. Yeah, they're getting those men, so I'll keep them there for the time being. Uh, I don't like I don't like that the unit is so close to the fire. Let's move these homies over some so they don't get too far. Alright. So we have lost almost 30 men so far. Oh. Oh, 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 they're dropping like flies. Okay. Have we, have you guys lost any yet? You've lost one. I'd say that's pretty good. That is a pretty good ratio, if you ask me. Oh, you lost two more. Alright, let's see what they got over here. They got some... It's, whoa. I thought there was someone dead over here. Is that a head? Oh, that's a rock. That is definitely a rock. Okay, that's fine. Um, so we got some Ashigaru, we got some Samurai, yeah. Okay. What are these homies? I don't know what these homies are doing over here. Alright. So, what you guys up to? You done? Alright. Go ahead and march up the hill then. Uh, 
Um, keep moving that way. You keep moving that way. I'll speed it up a little bit. And now march you up. March you up to speed that up. We don't want them to get tired. So. Is used to toggle selected units between. Shut up! You told me this in the tutorial, you bag. All right, now we'll have these guys. The archers are tearing us apart. I don't care. Come up there, charge! <laughs> How are our bows doing? Doing okay, I guess. Move up a little bit more. And then fire! What are you guys doing? Go up the... Oh, wait, oh, we can charge... Oh, wait, can we do it? No, we can't. Alright, just... Charge! Charge! You guys charge on this side! You guys stand here. All hope is failing, my lord. The battle is almost done. What do you mean? We're okay. You're just being a big wimp. Keep firing, so keep firing, soldiers. Let's get our generals up here. We'll get them. Uh, get them over here, so they can support these guys that aren't doing anything. Actually, no, no, we, we want them over here. We want them to support these guys. Should I send the force another way? Should I send them? Yeah, let, let's send these guys over here. So they will tire out if you make them run everywhere, but right now I'm not too worried. This is a siege, so. Alright. Are the bowmen? No, they're not. They're, they're fighting with these guys, so I think the bowmen are okay. Are we winning this engagement? Mm, no. Oh, they brought some spearmen over here, that's why. Let's, uh... I didn't mean to... Dismount. Do not dismount. Mount back up. <laughs> Alright, let us inspire these guys. There you go. You can do it! You can do it! The fighting in this game is really... Let's see. There you go. It's like one-on-one -on -one battles. You better not run. Oh no, look at him run. That's so many men. All of those people are running? Oh, that's the enemy. Oh. Oh, look at those wimps. Right, let's see what's going on over here. Ooh. I gotta stand. Oh, look at him falling. Oh, no. Oh, oh, stay up, bro. Stay up. Oh, no. Oh. Ooh, charge. Oh. Used all the ammunition. Okay, then get in there. Get in. Get into the battle! <laughs> Let's go! Charge! Let's heckin' get our generals in there too! Let's go! Fight! Fight for your honor! How do I dismount? Climb! Our men are running from the battlefield! You better not run! Quite shameful indeed! We still got a unit over here that are fighting them raring to go. Our general is in great danger, my lord. Good. Look at that cavalry charge. Oh man. What's going on over here? Are these my men? Our 
running from the battlefield. Oh. Shameful display. Dang. <laughs> Truly, shame and disorder will stain this day's memory. This is a terrible defeat to suffer. No, bro. I think we did okay. We made, we, we we killed like thirty of their bowmen. That's okay. So anyway, what I'm thinking about doing, um, when I legit fight a battle, I was thinking about saving the replay, and then I would do a little commentary, like, overview of, like, what's happening in the battle, you know, get some close-ups, kind of like I was trying to do. So I would save that, and I would record that, and then I would go over a little bit of what happened during, what, go over a little bit with what happens during the campaign, but there probably won't be much in that. Unless voice crack, unless something very interesting happens. So, um, that's pretty much it for this video. I don't know how long this is going to be. I wanted to just give you a quick overview of what I had in mind for this series. I don't know. I don't know if I want to make it into a series, really. Um, I might. I might just save it for Sundays. Uh, for like miscellaneous videos, but if you want to see an entire series of this uh, Then you know having it a little bit more professional and not me just me screwing around in battle then uh, Let me know because this is a really interesting game, and I think I would have a lot of fun Making videos and like cinematic fights With the replays and stuff so if that sounds interesting, please let me know Yeah, I, I killed three. I almost killed 400 men. That's okay. I almost killed as many of the. Anyway. The good thing is, they didn't ever kill any. Or they, they never killed all of my men. They all just broke. Um. But yeah, anyway. Got none of those guys anymore, so. Uh oh, are they gonna? Okay, I was about to say, sometimes they'll come out of their thing and just like come out and finish whatever is left down here. But, um, yeah, I guess that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, again, like I said, let me know if you uh, want to see more of this. And, uh, I'll make, be, I will make doubly sure to deliver. So that's it for me for this video. I don't know when I'm going to upload this. Obviously, when it's uploaded, it'll be uploaded, so you'll know. But I don't know at the time of recording this when it's going to upload. So, who knows? Anyway, that's it for me. Gentlemen, ladies, keep it purple.